So what you're looking to do does require a little bit more you know, working on the back end. So what you want to do is go to settings, activate your developer mode. That's the first step. Then uh, go to this right to the cell order. And we're going to edit the cell order line and we're going to drag a project field. We'll just drop it here and we're going to relate it to the project. And then once you have this, it should work fine as expected, right? We can, we don't have any projects created, but that'll work. So now we go to the, um, to the project app itself. Just call this project one and new done. So what we're going to do is edit this task. We're actually, I'm just going to say test one. So on the task, we already have a project field, right? And this project field defines what project this task is in. So if I create another project called project two, you'll see that here. And now if I take that one task and I adjust this value to project two, it moves it to project two and it removes it from project one. So the goal to move projects or to define which task a project is in is ultimately to update the value held in this field. Now, if you are working in you know, Odoo and you have access to the open source, to the actual source code, I should say, uh, you can go in and modify the behavior of this field, right? And I could, theoretically, I could go in edit and say, make this a related field, you know, from the cell order, whatever it is, project ID, that's wrong. But the bot, it'll say that it'll tell me it's wrong, but it will also tell me if it was right, that you cannot modify the behavior of a base field. And the way why Odoo does that is to help people not break the software, right? Because if you're changing the way that base fields, you know, or these core fields behave, it's, you're increasing the chances of, you know, messing things up, which, you know, result in user errors and people dropping the software and no longer using it. So those base fields are protected. Um, there is a way to modify the, the actual behavior of a base field or the value that that base field inherits um, in a way that doesn't, you know, force you to modify the underlying source code. And that little intermediary step is actually called an automated action. So what we're going to want to do is I'm going to add a field here. And I'm going to write, I can do it with studio and I can call this field. I'm going to add another project field. And I'm going to link that project field to inherit the value of the field on the cell order line, right? Because there's a, a relationship between tasks and cell orders. And you'll see that the, uh, if I go to view fields, where is it here? There. Right order line. Maybe I have to it's somewhere here. I believe it's sale line ID. Uh, let me just do one thing here to call this a service product make it a service product here and we'll say i know why because i don't have timesheets installed that's why the the uh that's why i can't find the connecting field so timesheets gets installed sorry about the delay you're getting a real time uh you're getting a real time video here where you will see all the mistakes that i make on the setup, but so once timesheets are installed, it should take another five seconds or so. Then we're going to have a field on the task that's called, I believe it's sale line ID. Uh, I could be wrong, but we'll verify that in just one second. All right, so now I go to my tasks, and I open up this table, and you'll see that there's a field now called sale line ID. So this 
references the sale order line. So in case you don't know what the sale order line is, I'll show you right now. Um, when I go to my products and I create a, a service product, which I have here, and when I look at sales, now I can define the relationship, right? If I want to take timesheets or based on ordered quantities and I want to create a task in an existing project, right? And that's where I can reference a base project here, such as project one. So now every time I create an order, I create every order that you create will have, and I'm going to create a quick customer. These are called the order lines. And if I add a product, that's one order line. So the way Odoo works is that every order line relates back to a task. Because right if I sell this right now, it will create a task. If I add another order line, it'll create another task. Right? So it's or one order line to each task. Now the beauty of that is there's a connection there. And the connection was the field that I just told you, the sale line ID. So I can move information off this order line and I can carry it into this related task, right? I can go here and I can actually update the timesheets to 175 hours, Oops. save it, and I can go back to the sale order and you'll see 175 is updated. It's, ref it's using that sale line ID field to just move that information through. So now what we want to do is we want to take the value here in this project field and we want to update this new project field here. So the way we're going to do that is by first we have to know what the name of this field is. It's X Studio Field H, and I'm not going to memorize that, so I'm going to actually click on this. And I'm going to take the name of the field like that. And I'm going to create what's called a related field. So I'm going to say, when I go to the task, oops, all tasks, I'm going to update this field by going to studio, selecting the project, the second, the field I want to edit, going into its more, remember B and debug, that's how you'll see that more field there. And I want to change the related field here. And I want to say, go to the sale line ID and reference that value, that field here on that sale line ID. So every sale order line that is created will have an ID. And that ID serves as essentially the lookup. It says, right, look at the sale line ID that is assigned to the task and go look at that sale line ID on the sale order. And then once you look at that, look at this field here and inherit that value and place it in to this new project field here. Now that's step one. So now you'll see if I go to the order, I'm going to create sale order two. No customer, sorry. And this you'll see will reference project one. We've had that set. And if I put project two here, watch what happens. Save, confirm, and it updates, it creates the task. Now you'll see project one is here because that's the main field. And then project two has automatically been assigned to that new project field I created. Now the goal is to update this first field here. And we can do that, this one here, and hold this value because this is the value we have control over at the sale order line level. So what we want to do in this case is create an automated action. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So when I, I'm going to now hold the value of this field, and then I'm going to go to, uh, actually you can just go to Studio, click Automations, Create, and I'm going to say Update, um, Update, uh, you can name this whatever, Project Field. And I'm going to say on the trigger condition, on creation and update, I'm just going to look at all the records, and I'm actually going to update the record, and the field I'm going to update, right, there's going to be two project fields. I'm going to update the, I believe this is the main field. Let's just make sure. Nope, that's our studio field. So you can see that is not the project field I want. I want to update this project field, I believe. And that's the core one, right? You can always know that a studio, that a field is custom when it has X in front of it, like X underscore and then the field name. So I want to take this field here. I want to update it and I'm going to actually do a Python expression. And I'm going to say inherit the record dot this 
dot ID. So it's going to say the rec record dot this. This is the custom project field, and I want to take the ID of it. And Odoo will overwrite the value in this project ID with the value in our new project ID that we created, which we can control at the sale order line level. So now what you're going to see is this. Create a sale. Service product, remember, it's going to reference, it's going to say, I want to assign it to project one, which is fine, but we're going to overwrite and say project two. And then I confirm. There's the task. Both will read project two. And you'll see when I go to project, right, the new one, sale order three, I believe it is, is right here. And that's what we just did just now. So then what you would do to clean it up is you'd remove your second project field from view, which still holds the value in the table, um, and it works the same. So when I look at the, again, if I go to sale order, this will be sale order number four that I'm creating, and I want to create this in project two. Right, sale order four, confirm. When I go right to project, I'll see I now have three in project two, and there's sale order four right up here. So that's the steps to recreate it. Um, if you have any trouble following, just let me know. If you have questions, same thing. Thanks.